I'll be free diving, just holding my breath without any bulky gear or bubble noise. It'll allow me to move gently and fit into the environment, allowing me to search for the seal and get close enough to these deadly sharks to get a stool sample, possibly proving the monk seal is part of their diet. What we'll be attempting has never been done before to my knowledge. And as I begin chumming the waters, lemon sharks are already coming to the surface. Ah, you got me. So I was just chumming there, getting the sharks brought in and uh, dropped my guard for one second and just managed to catch the corner of a tooth. So it's not too bad, fortunately. It's not gonna slow us down, but it's gonna need a couple stitches. It's a bad sign. My first encounter with a shark and I'm injured. And now my blood is in the water, just as we're all about to get in. We'll need to be on high alert. The reef sharks and lemon sharks that surround me as I hit the water don't bother me much. But the 15-foot tiger sharks that smelled our chum are a different story. Look at the size of these beasts, looming large over everything they see. True apex predators. Sharks have an olfactory bulb that gives them a sense of smell hundreds of times greater than ours allowing them to smell blood from as far as three miles away. As I reach the bottom and look up, there's no sign of the Caribbean monk seal. But the number of sharks seems to be multiplying. I'm holding my breath, which thanks to training, I can do for up to five minutes. But the cameramen have to rely on bulky scuba gear. These tigers are enormous, 13 footers at least, some of the biggest I've ever seen. Hiding among them are clusters of hammerheads. They can grow to almost 20 feet and have been known to attack humans. Whoa, he's coming in to check me out. Now the tigers are coming in to investigate. I can't chase a shark. So the only way I can get a stool sample is to get one to come to me. Next, by rubbing its snout, I'll stimulate the ampullae of Lorenzini, which are electroreceptive organs so sensitive the shark will enter a state of tonic immobility. This should give me a chance to swab her cloaca, letting us know if she's been eating monk seeds. The dive team has dropped a bait box just under the boat to control their attention. And now, the big boss tigers are getting much bolder in their approach. The biggest tigers on the attack. She's taken the box, leaving the divers alone as planned. My whole crew is experienced in pushing the sharks away by the nose if they come in too close. But the bait box attack seems to have inspired more aggression. So I'm calling it off for today. That's it. It is dicey today. I'm not kidding. No more bites. No more bites today. A full night's rest hasn't made the crew any more eager to get back in the ocean with a shark swarm. So I'm going to free dive to test the waters. Stop chumming for the time being. Just gotta get in and feel it out, but the sharks haven't left. They know where this food's coming from. Look at them, ready to go, covered in scars. A bit nerve-wracking. 
All right, guys, the sharks are a little touchy, but I think you can come in. What they were gonna have to do is assert our dominance with the lemons. Show them who's boss, don't let them win. If they come in like this, you gotta really give it to them, all right? Jump in, join me. They're a little too calm, not letting me get close enough to touch them. I actually need one to approach so I can stimulate the electroreceptive organs on the bridge of their snout. Just above 48 razor sharp teeth, giving me one precious second to swab the cloaca. Easy, right? My friend the hammerhead has returned with the mouth too small to eat a seal. He's more of a bottom feeder, but maybe his aggressive curiosity will inspire one of the big tiger sharks. There's a stillness all of a sudden. And there she is. The queen has arrived. The apex predator tiger shark. This pregnant female looks like she could give birth at any minute. And she's likely been eating everything she can to support her growing young. Possibly even the Caribbean monk seals we've been looking for. This might be our lucky break. This is our best shot. Now if I can just get her to come check me out. Probably weighing close to 2,000 pounds, this hungry mama nearly knocks me over. but it's exactly the moment I've been waiting for. Caribbean looking for a monk seal. I didn't find one. That doesn't mean that they're extinct, but I don't think it's looking good for them. Oh, look at that. You ever been so happy to see a bit of poop in your life? 